All week we've been outlining the state questions that you're going to see on the November ballot. Tonight we break down four more questions that you may not have heard very much about. Two News reporter Marla Carter continues our Democracy 2010 coverage in tonight's segment two. On the ballot, you'll see 11 questions. Four of them haven't been in the spotlight as much, but they all would change the state's constitution. First, there's state question 747. It's about term limits. It limits the governor, lieutenant governor, attorney general, treasurer, and other state elected officials to eight years. Service as a corporation commissioner would be limited to 12 years. <laughs> then there's state question 748. This has to do with the 10-year census and legislative districts. Passive After the census, the legislature is supposed to decide on possible new district boundaries based on changes in the population. If the legislature can't reach an agreement, then a commission makes the decision. Right now, there are three officials on the panel, the attorney general, the superintendent of public instruction, and the state treasurer. If passed, that panel would have seven members instead of three. State leaders would appoint three Democrats and three Republicans. The lieutenant governor would chair the panel but would not be a voting member. And then there's state question 750. It would lower the number of signatures required for petitions. If passed, the following voter signature requirements would apply. 8% for a proposed law, 15% to propose a change in the state constitution, and 5% to sign an order of referendum. That's the right to reject a law passed by the state legislature. Lastly, there's state question 752. It's about the judicial nomination process. Its job is to select nominees for judges or justices when there's a vacancy. The ballot question asks whether two more at-large members should be appointed to the commission. The commissioners cannot be lawyers, nor can more than two of the at-large members be part of the same political party. To see more on all of the ballot questions, just go to KJRH.com and look for this story under the political section. Marla Carter, 2 News works for you. Monday, we'll look at another hot-button ballot issue, should the state opt out of mandatory health care.